She's inside. Both puppies are in, behind her. The mama's inside. No matter how many times we were to trap any dogs, the adrenaline rush is there. You won't eat with them though, shut or not. Okay. Go, 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 go! Chua. The gate! Chua, hold the gate! Chua, the gate open! Most street dogs are very smart. If we miss them, we may never see them again. Okay. It's okay, it's okay, baby. It's okay, it's okay. We've been trying for a year to condition her into the pen. She's had many, many litters. Okay. So finally, we got her. The puppies that are with her are from like two litters ago. So they were inbreed in the end. So this is the only time that we can get her. We can't catch the rest today because they've seen what has happened to Mama. So normally what we do is we'll come back in a week's time. The next coming week, the feeder will recondition them to enter the pen and show them that nothing bad happens. And then we'll come back again. So it's a never-ending job. There are about 7,000 stray dogs here in Singapore. Some of the stray dogs come from the factories, they come from farms, nurseries, construction sites, forested areas as well that were cleared. Of course, they also are abandoned pets. The crucial thing really is that a lot of these are unsterilized and they start to breed. They used to be just trapped and killed. Culling had been used in Singapore for decades. We still have the same number of complaints. And we realized that that really wasn't a solution. At 8.45, I received a phone call from Christine. Uh, she mentioned to me she trapped one dog two hours after we closed the clinic. So I have to come back to open the clinic to receiving this dog. We get turned away because a lot of clinics are very concerned about the nature of the street dogs. They are not like a pet which you can simply put on leash and lead to the surgery room. It would take quite a bit of work and a lot of skill to actually be able to load these dogs in and out of the crates as well. What's the weight? 27.5. After the cage, so it's 32.4. Usually on the next day, the vet on duty will do an examination on the dogs to check whether they are fit to be sterilized. Then we will go ahead with the surgery. They receive two vaccines, the regular vaccine as well as a rabies vaccination. Um, they are also microchipped, dewormed, and they receive tick and flea prevention, which is crucial for street dogs. For example, this one, she is extremely skittish. If you, you try to touch them and they start shivering or, or some of them even show teeth, they will snarl. So these are the ones that you definitely would not uh, deem them to be suitable to be rehomed. These we will release back to where they came from. Right now we are back at the clinic. We are here to pick up the female dog that we caught five days ago. She's done her sterilization. Her wound has healed up well. She's ready to go back to where she came from and we're going to release her back where we caught her from now. If they are not happy being confined in a, in a home or in a kennel environment, we have to release them back. You get to see them running around the field back in their home territory and they are not going to reproduce anymore. I won't see puppies anymore on the street and that is actually one of the most rewarding feelings for me.